Alright, hello YouTube, my name's Rocket Box. I'm finally sitting down and uh, starting to kind of document uh, little pieces of my life right now. It's kind of more for my friends and my family to kind of see what I'm up to and, and what I've been doing. I'm kind of tired of paying a mortgage, tired of paying uh, condo fees, chasing apartment uh, rent, uh, just to store my stuff. I offloaded my condo and I just started purging things that I have. Moved into uh, an apartment after about a year of purging uh, things that I own, objects, furniture, I decided to move into an RV, well more specifically into a van. Less things, more freedom, uh, 99 problems and a mortgage isn't one. I've been on YouTube and I've been following people that are, are doing the same lifestyle, the, the van life, the RV life. For the past year, and I've been watching a bunch of channels, uh, like a guy named Happily Houseless, uh, Just Incredible, Chris Travels, and G. Also Gone with the Winds, and I'm just fascinated with it. How they go about their daily life, how they get their power, their water. Yeah, less things is more freedom. That's really what I started to realize was happening. You just don't need like, to fill a house or fill a condo with couches, chairs, paintings. Like You just, you just don't need it. But the goal is to save within maybe a year, two years, like a, a regular B-class. High top um, B-class vans uh, would suit what I'm, I'm thinking of my lifestyle is going to be in the future. A few things uh, over this past winter, um, I purchased uh, solar panels. Uh, I got two of them. Uh, they're 100 watts each. I glued the, um, the solar panels to the, uh, the roof uh, so I can bring in a maximum of 10 amps. But depending on... I mean, I live in Nova Scotia, I'm on the east coast, uh, so I'm up around six, seven, eight amps basically. So that's my energy, that's my power. Uh, so I don't pay for a power bill. Bought a bunch of batteries too, and I bought inverters, um, charge controller. All winter, I use solar panels, and uh, I tried to operate a lot of my equipment off them. Uh, I found out the difference between a modified uh, inverter and a, uh, a pure sign inverter, that there's a huge difference between a pure sign inverter and a modified. I bought a modified first because uh, it was cheaper and you'll realize this too. Burned my uh, one of my digital equipment within 10 seconds. I smelled burning and I'm looking at my equipment and then just went blank. Immediately smelled it. It was totally burnt fried. Uh, so I realized I was not going to be plugging in any more digital equipment into uh, a modified sound wave and bought a pure sign. It's, uh, it's the same um, electrical wave as what you'd use or what comes out of uh, a normal household um, electrical plug. I had all this equipment over the winter and I was just learning how to use it. I decided that probably over um, sometime, maybe over the summer, uh, at the end of summer I'd save up some money and I'd end up buying a B-Class. decided to jump ship sooner than later. So I left my apartment, traded in my beautiful Tiburon for, uh, for a van custom out the interior of this uh, this van um, to what I could comfortably live in and so here I am this is what I'm doing less things more freedom I cannot emphasize that more uh, I have been in it for probably about two months I have not paid rent in two months I don't pay a water bill um, because when I stop off at friends places I can grab you know water jugs uh, when it comes to garbage uh, I pretty much fill a bag like every day um, I'll fill like maybe half a bag or maybe a bag or something like that of garbage um, I just bring it in my hand and I just discard it um, at my friends places or at garbage cans uh, around the city yeah so it's a it's an ongoing kind of consistent thing I want to keep my RV clean obviously yeah I'm off the grid I am literally off the grid I needed an adventure now it's just lifestyle I just really want to try something different do something different when people ask me so where do you live uh, I take takes a little moment I gotta hesitate I gotta think and then I'll tell them uh, actually I live in an RV a free spirit open-minded type of person and I get the exact same response man they're like what what like what do you mean you're homeless uh, it's pretty amazing uh, I've been called, uh, hey, it's the homeless guy that lives in a van. It's just something on the East Coast that's not promoted. Um, and I think that's one of the big reasons why I'm doing this too right now. Nobody on the East Coast, uh, when I've been on YouTube watching um, a lot of the RV life uh, lifers, um, I just never noticed anybody on, on the Eastern Coast, uh, Eastern Coast Canada. I'm located, uh, you know, in Halifax. Um, and nobody was online. Uh, so one of the, I think one of the reasons why I'm kind of making this video also is to, uh, 
see if I can make it through winter uh, in a van. Um, I've got about three or four months or customize the interior uh, with some insulation to see if I can be inside this um, inside this RV van uh, for the winter or how I'm going to kind of cope in the winter. Everything that I know about RV lifestyle and living I've learned in the last year. I'm just becoming obsessed with just watching six or seven channels, uh, seeing how they do it, what what's working and what's not working. Um, I just go park at a friend's house or in front of a friend's house or park at a Walmart or I can park around apartment buildings where there's a, a, a train load of cars parked on the road and you just pull up in my van, shut the lights off, fall asleep. Um, again, this is this is all for my friends and for family just so they can take a look, uh, see what I'm up to, what I'm doing so I don't have to continuously text them and tell them where I'm at or what I'm doing or, or how things are going. So this is Ents uh, and I'm Rocket Box.